don't know why this video is making me feel a little bit guilty Hola gente! What is up my people? Welcome! Today we're going to be testing out this anti-frizz magic ionic detangling brush that is actually kind of um viral kept showing on my feed over and over again. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. The claims of this brush are just pretty insane. A little bit too good to be true. You know what I mean? Of course I had to buy it and test it out. So this a little one right here promises to detangle, hydrate, defreeze, and add shine. That's a lot. And all of that thanks to this little wooden right here, the German engineered ionic technology. One thing is for sure, it is gorgeous. You guys know I could not resist and of course I had to match it with my robe. Yesterday we went sailing down the river delta and you know if you are next to the water the air just has additional humidity and it doesn't take a lot to make my hair look pretty messy and frizzy. You're gonna see why I say this in just a sec. But before we go into the test portion of this video, just as reference for any of you guys who are new around here, I've used this Tangle teaser for like years and years and years. In fact, there's a first impressions video that's kind of awkward to watch nowadays, but I'm gonna link it right here it's been such a long time and it has stuck with me over the years just because it works so that said let me just tell you one thing when i look at these bewer this is a german brand i think it's Buter. Uh, i'm gonna ask my dad he speaks german Hola, pa. Esta marca Beurer. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? ¿Me contas? while he gets back to me let's just assume it's called Buter. I don't know. So of course the Tangle teaser doesn't have that ionic function, but what I instantly found very similar is that the ionic brush actually has the same two layered teeth that are supposed to be the secret behind the detangling power of the Tangle teaser. I'm not sure who copied who there, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that I am expecting this brush to do a good job when it comes to detangling, just like the Tangle teaser, because I do see that similar Similarity. This doesn't come with this protective case and they are both meant to be thrown in your purse used on the go So it would be nice to have something to protect this that said the teeth in the tangle teaser compact Styler do look a little bit more fragile, maybe even thinner. I'm not sure if that would be a good or bad thing. I guess we will see. You know that movement that your hairdresser probably does when they're detangling your hair with a comb? You know that tick 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 motion? Well, that's supposed to be emulated by the two layered teeth. So you can always use this just to detangle your hair, but why would you do that, right? Because we're all really curious about that ionic tech. And that is battery operated and don't you just love it when batteries are included, right? There we go. So without the batteries, both brushes were more or less the same weight. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still pretty much lightweight. It also feels really ergonomic. I'm gonna use this in my entire head and I'm gonna show you in just a sec. But I wanna start with kind of this loose hairs. Um, I think I'm gonna come closer, maybe even closer. Definitely frizzy. So let's see what the Ionic Tech can do. Okay, so when you click right here, there. The blue light right here turns on and oh this is so strange. This very subtle like frying sound, you know, a little bit like static I guess. Oh, let's see if you guys can hear it. All right, let's see what it does. And of course, keep in mind, this is not a straightening brush. Hey, I think it did something. I mean, if you compare it to this side, but let's just go ahead and free the mane and see what it can do with this mess. <laughs> now we're talking. This has been up in a bun for like 24 hours, I think. There are some tangles. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out on my left side and we're going to leave the right side as it is, as a reference. If you ask me, this may be even worse than this side. So I'm going to brush from the ends and then move it outwards. And yes, it is detangling 
very nicely. I'm not surprised it's pulling some of the hairs, but then again, so does the Tangle Teaser, to be honest. You know, some hair loss is absolutely normal. Not sure how many times I'm supposed to do this. And of course, let's remember there's no heat involved. So it's not going to style the hair. I feel that it's really easy to accidentally turn the ionic tech off. So, uh, I think it did something. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, it's not completely frizz free and it's definitely not doing a lot for the flyaways. They're still pretty much like, let's just go ahead and compare. It's definitely more detangled. And this side, of course, again, I'm not surprised. This is kind of a tangle teaser dupe. I do feel that when I use the brush up here, like the tangle teaser is a little bit more, I don't wanna say aggressive, but I cannot really find another word. The teeth of this one seemed a little bit more like rubberized, a little bit more gentle. So this side does look a little bit shinier than the side in which we did not try the brush. But then again, it makes sense because it is detangle. Flyaways are pretty much crazy on both sides, so it's not really helping there. I don't know why. As far as it feeling sleeker and maybe more hydrated, yeah, I mean, it does feel smoother on this side. But then again, I don't think it's fair to compare fully detangled hair to like all crazy tangled hairs. I'm gonna see what happens when I detangle just with a tangle teaser without the ionic tech. So let's go in with the, my tangle teaser and see what we think after that. Again, I always start from the bottom and then I work upwards. Now, yes, let's check the shine. Hmm. So yes, as far as detangling, the experience is just about the same. Although when I go up here with the tangle teaser, it just feels like the teeth are a little bit more pointy, thinner, harsh on my scalp. So I honestly did not have any issues with that so far. But if you have sensitive scalp or you have noticed that about the Tangle teaser before, then that could be a point in favor of the Bower brush. I've lost hair on both sides with both brushes. Again, that's absolutely to be expected. Let's see. As this side is slightly smoother, I mean, yes, it does seem to have a tiny bit more shine as well. Both sides are still a little bit frizzy. I wouldn't consider either of these completely frizz free. It does do something. I wanna say maybe it's 20 or maybe even 30% less frizzy than this side. Um, it's not a huge difference, but hey, it's still some difference, right? That hydration claim. I'm not sure if I would say it's more hydrated, but I do see what they mean. Uh, this side, especially the ends, feel, I would say, maybe 50% softer than these ends right here. This side feels more straw-like, so <laughs> I guess there's something. You know what? I was going to buy another Tangle teaser, and now I'm like, this one's gentler on the scalp. You know, it has some added benefits as far as frizz control. I guess there is something about that ionic tech. In fact, you know, many hair straighteners have that tech as well. So I guess I wouldn't say this is as magical as it has been portrayed, especially on the Instagram ads. To sum things up, uh, this is an improved version of the Tangle Teaser. If you ask me, they kind of went in the same direction, but with a twist 
and I do think that the Ionic tag does make a difference. If your hair is not as frizzy as mine, uh, but you still do care about frizz control, this may be it for you. Like probably all you need. I don't know why this video is making me feel a little bit guilty. Um, maybe because I have been in a long-term relationship with the Tangle Teaser for so many years. And even though I will for sure continue using it, I'm really happy I got this one. I feel it is an improved version of the Tangle Teaser with a twist. But again, definitely not magical. Dad, did you get back to me? That's my dad. You just heard him. Gracias, pa. So before we wrap up, I just want to do one last thing. I'm going to go with the Boirer brush on this side, just to be sure that it's actually the reason why this side feels smoother, softer. Yeah, it is, again, it's subtle, but I can already feel it. It is subtle, but it's kind of amazing because both sides do feel smoother, softer right now. You know what? This could be a very good tool to kind of maintain your hair looking half decent, you know, in between washes, but on already styled hair that is not as bad as maybe today's. You know what? I can't wait to test this out on my husband. He's been trying to grow his hair a little bit longer, you know, since we've been quarantined for like almost eight months here. You know, with longer hair, frizziness is starting to become an issue for him as well. So definitely not magical, but a very good purchase. That is it for today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video after all the wait. I really needed to take a week off because things are starting to open up here after eight months and also it was my birthday and my husband wanted to take some time off so we could be together. You know what I mean? Like real quality time together to give each other lots of attention. <laughs> So anyways, that was my excuse. Please do let me know in the comments below which brush you think won this battle. And of course, if you'd like me to test out any other tools in the future. And yeah, that's it for now. Thank you so much for being here and I will catch up with you guys again on Friday and then Sunday and then Wednesday. Stay brave, stay safe. Ciao. Do you wanna follow? Do you wanna Click follow? here. Baby, can't you see?